My name is Lisa and welcome to Fun Time. Today we're going to be learning about creatures that live under the sea. I wonder what type of creatures live under the sea? Can you think of any? Hmm. There are lots of fish that live in the sea. Colourful fish. Spotty fish. Stripy fish. Ooh, starfish. And even a clownfish. I wonder if it tells funny jokes. <laughs> Today we're going to be meeting a sad fish. His name is Pout Pout Fish. I'm going to need your help with this story. Can you show me your fish face? Very good. Now can you show me your sad pouty fish face? Oh, such sad faces. Very good. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Well, hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. You hulky, bulky, sulking, it's an unattractive trait. My friend, said Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. Mwah! 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 And you ready? One big one. Mwah! Very good. It's good to do nice things for people, isn't it? What nice thing could you do for your friends and family today? Hi, welcome to Chatters with Gadders with me, Lisa Gattenby. Today I'm talking to a wonderful comedian, Tracy Armstrong. I met Tracy about four years ago in the Melbourne comedy scene when we both did a comedy course. And women in their late 30s and 40s are going into comedy. And these are women that have not gone down the traditional path in life. They've not had kids or been married. What happens when you go against the social norms and expectations? Let's find out. You don't have any children, do you? No, no kids. Yeah, and you're quite happy about that. I am yeah. happy about that. <laughs> I am. There was a point in my life where I felt like I wanted children. I was in my 30s and I don't know whether it was social pressures but also just my hormones were telling me to have a child. And then when that passed, I was fine. I was fine with it. Yeah. So, and I'm happy. We high five each other on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Now, if you want to see Tracy in action, follow her on Instagram, Trace Armstrong, or Facebook, Tracy Armstrong Comedy for all upcoming gigs. And thank you for watching Chatters with Gadders. See you next time. Oh. I can't find them anywhere. Oh. Ah, <laughs> here they are. Okay, we're ready. Now repeat after me, please. Piffle Poffle, Flamdoogleberry, Lickety Split. All right, very good, now all together. Piffle Poffle, Flamdoogleberry, Lickety Split. Now we pour this in and that will just blend through nicely. Oh no, oh! Oh no, well he's just done it again. Oh, oh bother. Oh, oh, dust. <laughs> Such a stumble bum, Winnie. Now I'm going to have a bubbly fart room. Ah, art room, art room. <laughs> oh, all this cooking and bubbling and I am famished. Excuse me while I'll just eat my cat. <laughs> yes, where did I put it? Somewhere. Oh, we wizards, we love eating cats. <laughs> Have you ever tried eating a cat before? What? Why are you looking at me like that again? Kitty cat. Oh, did you think I meant eating a real cat? <gasps> you gibble gobbles are a strange folk. Who ever thought of eating a real cat? 